So shaken as we are, so wan with care, find we a time for frightened peace to pant, and breathe short-winded accents of new broils to be commenced in strands afar remote. No more the thirsty entrance of this soil shall daub her lips with her own children's blood. No more shall trenching war channel her fields, nor bruise her flowerets with the armed hoofs of hostile paces. Those opposed eyes which, like the meteors of a troubled heaven, all of one nature, of one substance bred, did lately meet in the intestine shock and furious close of civil butchery shall now, in mutual, well-beseeming ranks, march all one way and be no more opposed against acquaintance, kindred, and allies. The edge of war, like an ill-sheathed knife, no more shall cut his master. Therefore, friends, as far as the sepulchre of Christ, whose soldier now under whose blessed cross we are impressed and engaged to fight, forthwith a power of English shall we levy, whose arms were molded in their mother's womb to chase these pagans in those holy fields over whose acres walked those blessed feet which 1,400 years ago were nailed for our advantage on the bitter cross. But this our purpose now is 12 month old and bootless, tis to tell you we will go. Therefore we meet now, then let me hear of you, my gentle cousin Westmoreland, what yesternight our council did decree in forwarding this dear expedience. 